Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today for the LIPA Fund Awards Saudi Arabia webinar. Before we begin, let's cover a few housekeeping items. We will be recording today's session. The on-demand version of this webcast will be shared with you via email within the next few days and can also be accessed using the same audience link that was sent to you today. At the bottom of your screen are multiple widgets for you to use. All of these are resizable and movable, so feel free to move them around to get the most out of your screen space. If you have any questions during this webcast, you can submit them through the Q&A widget. We will answer these after the webinar via email, and please know that we do record all questions. There are additional materials available in the resource list. Please download those that you might find useful, and you can find out more about our speakers via the speaker bio widget. For the best viewing experience, we recommend closing any programs or browser sessions that you are running in the background. This will help conserve your bandwidth. This webcast is being streamed through your computer, so for the best audio quality, please make sure your computer speakers or your headset volume is turned up. Some networks cause slides to advance more slowly than others, so logging off your VPN is recommended. If your slides are not progressing, please push F5 on your keyboard or Command R on your Mac to refresh your browser page. We value your feedback, so please do complete the pop-up survey at the end of this webcast. I am honored to introduce our first speaker, Mohammed Musa. Mohammed is responsible for investment and advisory sales within the Middle East region at Refinitiv. Over to you, Mohammed. Thank you, Renee. Assalamu alaikum wa ahlan bikum fi marasim tawzi'a jawaiz lipa Refinitiv li mudir al-istismar al-awwal fi al-mamlaka al-abiyya al-Saudiya. Ana Mohammed Musa min Refinitiv wa awadda an ashkurukum ala tawajudukum al-yawm ma'ana fi hazih al-munasaba alati nukarim fiha mudir al-istismar ala juhdahum wa adha sanadiqahum al-mutamayiz. Tatamayiz lipa bi 47 aman min al-muhtaba al-mustaqil حيث كانت الأولى في تطوير تقسيمات الصناديق على أساس أقرانها ولأكثر من 30 عاما وفي 17 بلدا مختلفة كرمت لبرف صناديق ومدير الاستثمار أصحاب الأداء المميز مع الوضع في الاعتبار نسبة المخاطرة لتحقيق هذا الأداء واليوم نحتفل بإطلاق هذه الجوائز العالمية في المملكة العربية السعودية يستند اختيار الفائزين على معايير كمية وموضوعية بالبحث العميق في بيانات الصناديق ونتائجها الذي يعطي لجوائز لبرف قيمتها الدائمة ويعد استخدام بيانات الصناديق المعلنة وبحوث لبر الخاصة هو الأساس في تأهيل واختيار المتميزين من مدير الاستثمار دون تدخل بشري وباستخدام البيانات فقط يتضمن مستقبل إدارة الأصول إيجاد استراتيجيات بديلة لتوليد ألفا ولقد شهدنا تحولا دائما في الدور الذي تلعبه البيانات والتكنولوجيا في اتخاذ قرارات الاستثمار حيث يبحث مدير ومحترف الاستثمار الآن عن طرق جديدة لاستخدام البيانات للتميز بين عروضهم والعديد منهم يتوجهون إلى البحوث الكمية وعلم البيانات وقد أصبحت الاستثمارات ذات التوجه المستدام واحدة من أبرز الاستراتيجيات الناشئة في إدارة الاستثمارات هذا الدافع يدعم الأثر البيئي والاجتماعي مع توليد عوائد اقتصادية هذا التحول في توجهات الاستثمار هو بقوة على جدول أعمالنا في ريفانتيف حيث لدينا واحدة من أكبر مجموعات بيانات ESG في العالم وسنقوم بدمج هذه المعلومات مع بيانات لبر الخاصة بنا لإنشاء تقييمات وتحليلات لصناديق إياجي في هذا العام ونظرا لأن مدير الأصول يتجهون إلى مزود البيانات مثلنا للحصول على معلومات استثمارية قابلة للتنفيذ فإن هذه البيانات القيمة ستدعم في دمج بيانات إياجي في استراتيجيات الاستثمار الخاصة به والآن أحب أن أرحب بزميلي أوتو كريستيان كوبر رئيس منهجية ليبر ريفينتيف للتحدث عن المنهج والتصنيفات المتبعة في هذه الجوائز بدأ أوتو حياته المهنية في عام 1995 كمحلل مالي في بوب آي اس بي اي جي وبعد الاستحواز عليها من قبل رويترز في عام 1998 ودمجها في شركة ليبر التابعة لها أصبح رئيسا للبحوث في سويسرا في العام 2001 وفي عام 2007 وإلى الآن أصبح رئيس قسم المنهجية في ليبر ريفينتيف أوتو مسؤول عن, تص... عن تقنيات الصناديق وتصنيفاتها والبحوث الكمية لدى ليبر كما يشرف على برنامج جوائز صناديق الاستثمار لدى ليبر ريفينيتيف كل عام يتلقى حوالي 2700 مدير صندوق و120 من مجموعات الصناديق الاستثمارية في جميع أنحاء العالم تقديرا مرموقا في هذا البرنامج إن مجال خبرة أوتو الخاص هو معلومات سوق الصناديق العالمية وخاصة تحليل سلوك المستثمرين والمنافسة بين شركات التمويل وبعد دراسة القانون والتاريخ في جامعة زيرخ وإدارة الأعمال في كلية الدراسات العليا لإدارة الأعمال تخرج أوتو في عام 1996 بدرجة بكالوريوس في إدارة الأعمال. Thank you very much, Mohamed.
My name is Otto Christian Kober, and I am LIPERS Global Head of Methodology. In this function, I'm also overseeing our LIPER Global Fund Awards program. Let me jump into the methodology and line out some points. The general LIPER Fund Awards methodology looks at funds registered for sale in the respective country as of the end of the calendar year of the respective evaluation year. At least 36 of months of performance history as of the end of the calendar year of the respective evaluation year. Required are LIPR global classifications with at least five distinct portfolios based on the primary share class definition, excluding institutional and other non-retail funds, private, closed-end, exchange-traded, insurance and linked funds. Asset classes taken in consideration are equity, bond, mixed asset, commodity, and alternatives. Absolute return funds screen over all asset types except real estate. Fund classification awards. The currency for the calculation corresponds to the currency of the country for which the awards are calculated and relies on monthly data. Classification averages are calculated with all eligible share classes for each eligible classification. The calculation periods extend over 36, 60, and 120 months. The highest LIPR leader for consistent return, effective return, value within each eligible classification determines the fund classification winner over three, five, or 10 years. The calculation periods are through to the end of June of the respective evaluation year in the case of Saudi Arabia. LIPR leader for consistent return. The LIPR rating for consistent return identifies a fund that has provided relatively superior consistency and risk-adjusted returns when compared to a group of similar funds. Funds which achieve high ratings for consistent return may be the best fit for investors who value a fund's year-to-year -year consistency relative to other funds in a particular peer group. Investors are cautioned that some peer groups are inherently more volatile than others. And even LIPR leader for consistent return in the most volatile groups may not be well suited to shorter term goals or less risk tolerant investors. And the asset class group awards. Asset class group awards will be given to the best fund family group. Fund family groups will need to have at least three distinct portfolios in one of the asset classes, equity, bond, or mixed assets. The lowest average decile rank of the three years consistent return measure of the eligible funds per asset class and group will determine the asset class group award winner over the three years period. In case of identical results, the lower average percentile rank will determine the winner. This was in a short, uh, short word, our methodology. And I'm happy now to pass over to Detlef Glove. Thank you very much, Otto. A warm welcome from my side. My name is Detlef Glow. I'm heading the LIPA research in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Before we go on with the LIPA Fund Awards, I want to give you a review of the Arabian Fund Markets, as well as putting a spotlight on the Saudi Arabian Fund Industry. When we're looking on the assets under management in the Arabian Fund Industry, we see that at the end of last year, there were 48.9 billion US dollars in assets under management. This amount grew by 5.7 billion US dollars over the course of 2020 to 48.6 billion. The majority of these assets were held by fund promoters domiciled in Saudi Arabia. In fact, those managers held 90.33% of the overall assets under management. A view on the market share by asset types with regards to the assets under management shows that money markets with 77.65% of market share are the dominating asset class in the Arabian fund industry. It is followed by equities with 16.41%, mixed assets with 2.13%, bond funds with 1.77%, real estate products with 1.91%, other funds 0.0%, and alternatives by 0.03%. If we look on the fund flows year to date, 
we see that with regards to the assets under management, it is no surprise that money market products with inflows of 8.3 billion US dollar over the course of 2020 were the best selling product in the Arabian fund markets, followed by bond funds with 0.1 billion US dollars and mixed assets also with 0.1 billion US dollar. On the other side of the table, we see equity funds as the only asset type with outflows of 0.4 billion US dollars. Given the overall split of the assets under management, it is no surprise that money market SAR with 35.5 billion US dollar is the largest LIBA global classification in the Arabian fund industry. It is followed by equity Saudi Arabia with 4 billion US dollar on assets under management and money markets in US dollars with 1.6 billion US dollar in assets under management, as well as equity Kuwait, Kuwait with also 1.6 billion US dollars in assets under management and real estate other with 0.9 billion in assets under management. If we look on the best and worst selling sectors and taking the general flow trend into consideration, it is not surprising that money market SAR is the best selling asset class here with 7.8 billion US dollar inflows year to date, followed by money market other with 0.3 billion US dollar and money market USD with point e even though with 0.3 billion US dollars in a net inflows for the first nine months of 2020. On the other side of the table, we see equity Saudi Arabia facing outflows of 0.2 billion US dollar, bettered by equity Kuwait with 0.1 billion US dollar outflows and equity UAE with 0.03 billion US dollar on outflows. Con taking this all into consideration, one can say that the investors in the Arabian fund markets have made a flight to safety over the course of the first nine months of 2020, which is also not su surprising, taking the general market circumstances into consideration. With 14.4 billion US dollar in assets under management, National Commercial Bank is the largest fund promoter in the Arabian fund market, followed by Riyadh Capital with 10.8 billion US dollar and El Raji with 4.9 billion US dollar in assets under management. That said, it is no surprise to see these asset managers also leading the table of the best selling promoters in the Arabian fund industry for 2020 so far. We had capital enjoyed inflows of 3.1 billion US dollar, National Commercial Bank of 1.9 billion US dollars, and Araji of 1.5 billion US dollars. Now, let's have a look on the Saudi fund industry. As we have seen on the slides before, the fund promoter domicile in Saudi Arabia are dominating the Arabian fund industry. With 43.9 billion assets under management or 90.33% market share. With regards to this, it is not surprising that the split of the assets under management is somewhat similar to the overall Arabian fund industry. By looking on these numbers, one would expect that the fund promoter domicile in Saudi Arabia are dominating the fund flows in the Arabian fund industry for 2020 so far. The Saudi Arabian fund promoter have gathered 7.7 .7 billion US dollars or 95.39% of the flows in the Saudi Arabian fund industry for the year so far. Given the size of the industry, it is clear that the Saudi Arabian fund promoter are setting the flow trends in the Arabian fund industry. Therefore, it is not surprising that the flow trends in Saudi Arabia are in line with the overall flow trend in the Arabian fund industry. Money market funds see the highest inflows with 7.9 billion US dollars. Mixed asset funds enjoyed 0.02 billion US dollars of inflows, while bond funds faced outflows of 0.03 billion US dollars and equity funds outflows of 0.3 billion US dollars. Money market SAR is the largest LIPA classification for the Arabian fund in this for the Saudi Arabian fund industry with its 35.5 billion US dollar in assets under management. It is roughly 
nine times bigger than the number two equity, Saudi Arabia, which held 4.0 billion US dollar in assets under management. The third largest classification is money market USD with 1.3 billion US dollars in asset under management. These numbers show that the Saudi Arabian fund industry is highly concentrated with regard to the split of the assets under management by classification. The same is true with regards to the fund flows in the Saudi Arabian fund industry. Money market SAR enjoyed inflows of 7.8 billion US dollars and was the best selling LIPA global classification, followed by money market USD with 0.2 billion US dollars. On the other side of the spectrum, equity Saudi Arabia faced outflows of 0.2 billion US dollars. The assets under management by promoter in the Saudi Arabian fund industry are not as concentrated as one would expect by looking on the overall concentration of the assets under management in the markets. National Commercial Bank is the largest fund promoter in the Saudi Arabian fund industry, holding 40.4 billion US dollar on assets under management. It is followed by Riyadh Capital with 10.8 billion US dollar in AUM and Al Ajri Al Raji with 4.9 billion US dollar in assets under management. These three promoters are also dominating the table of the best selling fund promoters in Saudi Arabia. Riyadh Capital is leading the table with inflows of 3.0 billion US dollars. With inflows, it is followed by National Commercial Bank with inflows of 1.9 billion US dollars and Al Raji with 1.5 billion US dollars inflows over the course of 2020 so far. All these information can be found in our latest review of the Arabian fund industry, which is on our website, liberalphainsight.com. So now the awards. Today we are awarding the best funds over the three, five and 10 years period in the Saudi Arabian fund industry. In addition, we will also give awards to the best asset managers for equities and mixed assets over the three years period. We will award seven funds over the three years period, six funds over the five years period, and four funds over the 10 years period. After this, we will award the best asset manager for equities and the best manager for mixed assets in the Saudi Arabian fund industry. Our first classification to give out an award is equity GCC. Over the three years period, there were 18 funds competing for the Lipper Fund Award in equity GCC. And the winner is Jatwa GCC Equity Fund. Congratulations from our side. Our next category is Equity Global. We had eight funds competing in this peer group for the Lipper Fund Award. And the winner is Al Jazeera International Equities Fund. classification is equity Saudi Arabia. There were 62 funds competing for the Lipa Fund Award in this category. And the winner is the Osul and Bakit Parallel Market Trading Equity. Our next 
category is equity sector real estate other. There were five funds competing in this category, and the winner is the Alcazar GCC Real Estate and Construction, Construction Equity Trading Fund. Our next classification is mixed assets, other aggressive. There were five funds competing in this category for the Lipper Fund Awards over three years. And the winner is the HSBC Multi-Asset Growth Fund. Our next classification is mixed assets, other balanced. There were eight funds competing in this category for the Lipper Fund Awards, and the winner is the Riyadh Balanced Income Fund. The last winner within the three years period is from the category mixed assets, other conservative. There were six funds competing in this category for a Lipper Fund Award. And the winner is HSBC Multi Assets Defensive Fund. We're now moving on to the five years period. And the first category where we honor the winner of the Lipper Fund Awards over five years is Equity GCC. There were 17 funds competing in this category for the Lipper Fund Awards. And the winner is the Jadwa GCC Equity Fund. The next winner over the five years period is from the Lipa Global classification, Equity Global. There are eight funds competing in this category for the Lipa Fund Awards, and the winner is the Al Jazeera International Equities Fund. Our next classification is Equity Saudi Arabia. There were 54 funds competing for a Lipa Fund Award in this classification. And the winner is the Al Ali Freestyle Saudi Equity Fund.
next classification is mixed assets, other aggressive. There were five funds competing in this classification for the Lipper Fund Award. And the winner is the Al Jazeera Diversified Aggressive Fund. category is mixed assets, other balanced. There were seven funds competing for a Lipper Fund Award in this category, and the winner is the Riyadh Al Mutawazin Sharia Fund. classification for a Lipper Fund Award over the five years periods is mixed assets, other conservative. There were six funds competing in this classification for a Lipper Fund Award, and the winner is the Al Raji Multi-Asset Conservative Fund. category is once again equity GCC. There were 12 funds competing in this classification for a Lipper Fund Award. And the winner is the Jatwa GCC Equity Fund. The next award category is Equity Global. We had six funds competing in this classification for a Lipper Fund Award over five years. And the winner is the Riyadh Global Equity Sharia Fund. classification is Equity Saudi Arabia. We had 34 funds competing for the Lipper Fund Awards over the time period for, of 10 years. And the winner is the Morgan Stanley Saudi Equity Fund. The last winner of a Lipper Fund Award over the 10 years periods is from the classification Mixed Assets, Other Balanced. We have five funds competing for a Lipper Fund Award in this category. And the winner is the Riyadh Al Mutawazin Sharia Fund.
We are now moving on to the group awards. The first winner that we will announce will be the winner of the category equity and the best equity manager over the three years period for Saudi Arabia is National Commercial Bank. The last award for today will be handed out to the best manager of mixed asset products in Saudi Arabia, and the winner is HSBC. Congratulations to all the winners and back to you, Mohammed. Thank you, Datlef, and congrats for the winner. وفي ختام هذه المراسم نبارك لكل الفائزين ونتمنى لهم دوام توفيق في إدارة استثماراتهم والاستثمار في معدلات أدائهم القوية دمتم في خير صحة وصحة وسلامة. شكرا. Thank you.